Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, this company, Wavelink, or Wavelink, reached out to me, and they wanted to know if I would be interested in doing a review of their product, and I told them I would. This is the uh, Greenwood 6 3000D AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Access Point. And um, let me just read you a little bit about it right here. It's got dual band. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, uh, capability right there. Also, uh, it uh, has 12 dBi high gain antenna for long distance directional transmission and it also is waterproof. And uh, let me just open up right here and I see what's inside. I'll try right here. Here's the uh, wavelength right here. Show the back side of it right here. This is where you mount it. Got some nice uh, mounting plate. One thing I've noticed y'all right off hand, this is pretty heavy and uh, it's pretty big there. So uh, it feels like it's made really good. And uh, you see right here on the bottom, this is where you're going to connect your uh, ethernet cable. It also comes with these two nice uh, band straps right here for your insulation. Comes with these two uh, nice rubber uh, pads right here. This is going to aid in the insulation of the uh, unit. Screws. Here's your uh, power plug right here. Also, it comes the wrench, your PoE uh, connector plug, and also this uh, uh, plug that screws into the bottom of it. And also, it comes with this cable here. So let me go ahead and get ready to uh, read the instructions here. And uh, when I get through doing that, I'll come back and uh, show you exactly how I install it and hook it up. And also, if you're going to be mounting it on the wall, it comes this uh, easy template right here to for you to drill your holes and install your screws. I'm there. a shop here, and the Wavelink, I'm going to be installing on this antenna pole right here. And uh, right now, what I'm doing, I'm installing my um, Ethernet cable right here on this soffit right here. I just drilled me a hole previously where I ran another cable through. And I'm just running that cable through there. And when I get that all in there, I'm going to be getting on the uh, roof here and installing that uh, wavelength. And I'll show you how I do that. Right, on the installation here, I'm going to put one of these rubber pads on the back of here and one of the pads back here on my antenna pole and then I'll be putting the uh, metal clamps around it to uh, install it. When I get done doing that, I'll show you how it looks. Y'all, we're ready to uh, install this here. And all you're going to do, you're just going to unscrew this. And you see right here, we got a little black rubber sealer plug right here. And uh, first, we're just going to take our Ethernet cable and we're going to run through this right here first. Just like that. Next, we're just going to go ahead and slip this on. 
you're going to take this little rubber uh, sealing gasket here and you're going to slip over the uh, cable just like that and you just screw this together on the bottom right here and what that does that seals I don't know if you can see that right there that can right there that rubber seals moisture and water from getting uh, up in the bottom of this uh, wavelength right here so now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, connect my uh, Ethernet connector right here Then you gonna slide it up into place and screw this in Just tighten this up right here. Then I'm just going to secure my Ethernet cable down my pole. And I'll meet y'all back inside there once I get that taken care of. And we'll do the uh, finish setup. Uh, we'll see how this uh, new wavelength will perform there. I'm just going to secure this uh, Ethernet cable to my pole here. I'm just going to do that all the way down the pole there and make sure my cable is good and secure. Alright y'all, y'all can see my installation right here on the outside, it's real easy, anybody can do it real quick, very simple, didn't take me long at all, just want to show y'all that right there. Alright y'all, we're back inside and we're fixing to get ready to uh, hook this up. This is the Ethernet cable that's uh, coming from the uh, Wavelink outside, we're just going to connect it here to the PoE side, and from this other side, the LAN side. We're gonna hook the cable, ethernet cable, just like that right there. And, and then uh, this side here, I'm just going to hook to this uh, USB to ethernet adapter. And now I'm gonna be able to uh, go ahead and get my password set up. See right here, I pulled up the wavelength on my internet right here. And I'm just going to select one of them. We're just gonna go with this bottom one right here. We're just gonna go ahead and connect. When you do that you can see right here the wavelength uh, comes up right here and it says please set up the device first so we're going to enter the password and the password is going to be admin now we're going to fill out some misinformation here your country your time zone and um, this is where I'm going to reset uh, the password and confirm the password and after I get uh, through doing that, I'll, I'll show you, come back and show you. Another thing right here that you have, you have a signal adjustment right here. And uh, you can select it to be uh, high, middle, or low. I've got mine set on high. Save. All right, y'all, I'll fix to do this uh, speed test. I've been doing it a couple times here. And every time y'all, they give me a different... Um, reading there as far as you know the speed but that's going to be normal it's, it's never going to show you the same thing every time and uh, my internet right here is being bridged from my uh, home wi-fi so it's going to be a lot slower so don't get just get caught up on the speed here say for instance this first uh test was 10.36 megabytes per second and the uh, upload speed let me see what's showing 56 on the upload speed and uh, that's considerably low a lot lower what it's been being on the download so let's do it again so this time around on the download speed is showing like 68.77 megabytes per second and uh, on the down upload, let's see what it's going to be showing a uh, 49 on the uh, upload speed. Let me do it one more time here. And we're here in my shop and I'm going to do a couple more uh, walking out different distance there and give you an idea, you know, what it's doing. But uh, 
like I say, don't get caught up on the uh, speed itself because it's going to change and vary a lot. And uh, your internet may be a lot you no know, quicker than mine. So uh, this uh, this uh, has the capacity to go up as far as uh, megabytes uh, a whole lot more. Um, I, I don't know what the max is, but it's uh, probably more than most people's got uh, uh, access to as far as their internet speed. So I wouldn't worry about that part of it. But so far, it's doing very good here. And uh, let me go outside and take a couple uh, different uh, tests there from diff different All right, y'all, we're about 50 yards away, and um, I'm fixing to do this test here. So showing uh, 78 download speed in megabytes per second. And 69 uh, on the uh, upload. Our right, child, we're about uh, close to 100 yards right here. And I'm going to uh, restart this test. We've got 90 megabytes per second on the download speed. We have 72 on upload speed. And uh, let me just show you here. This is about as far as I can get. This is across the road. Before I get into the woods, and you can see right across yonder, that's the uh, shop that it's hooked to. So it's about 100 yards. And um, All right, y'all, I'm, I don't know, probably 150 yards away, back through the woods. I mean, down the road and everything. Y'all can see where I'm at here. And I got 54 on the download and 45 on the upload speed. So, y'all, this thing is doing very good. And I'm just going to kind of walk in here to show you how far I am. And this is through trees and everything. And I still had full strength on my signals. So y'all, this uh, this will go a long way, so I can tell, because it was shooting all through that stuff right there. And uh, just keep y'all walking here with me. Just kind of show you what kind of distance. This, uh, this, is, uh, this is absolutely the best unit that I've ever tested. I bought one. And uh, I tested another, but uh, y'all can see right there, mounted it out yonder. Way down here, behind my house, down here, um, away, going away from the signal, where it's, you know, it's got it hooked up right now. And uh, the uh, download speed showing to be five megabytes per second. Let's see on the upload speed what it's going to be. So that blow speed is 7.44 megabytes per second. As y'all can see here, I'm way down behind my house and the, my shop's way out yonder, over 100, probably 30, 40 yards away. So uh, this is doing a very good job. Very impressed uh, with how this is uh, actually doing. This is, uh, this is a very good uh, Wi-Fi extender. So I'm very impressed with it. All right, y'all, back in my shop here. Y'all seen the download, upload speeds there? Hey, that thing's doing great. And one thing I want to mention, y'all, don't get caught up on the speeds itself because my internet is going to be a lot slower than y'all's internet probably, and mine might be a little quicker. So, you know, you know, it just depends on how fast your internet is, you know, initially. But as far as doing the process and everything, uh, I think it's doing great. Uh, one thing I can tell y'all, uh, let me read it back over here. It's showing the speed of 3,000 megabytes per second. That was nowhere near what I had because my internet's not that fast. But if you got some super fast internet, I'm sure this thing will you know, process and give you a good Wi-Fi signal a long ways from wherever you want to you know, send it. Uh, back in my property back here, like I say, probably about 125, 150 yards where I was at on this backside. And that's pointing 
the uh, extender is pointed this way, and I was on this back side going away from it. So it's kind of like a, some bit like a 360 degree setup, it seems like, you know, but I can tell once you get out in front of it, it's a whole lot stronger. So if you got like a line of sight that you wanting to get a Wi-Fi to, to a building or something like that, you know, this right here definitely do the job. Uh, I could tell when I picked up out of box, yeah, it's completely different. Some of the other ones there I've tested and it was you know, a lot heavier. It's rugged, made very well. And the setup y'all, y'all seen the setup's very easy, not complicated at all. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, y'all can do it. But y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a six month review on this, see how it's doing, just give you an update. Another thing y'all, when I go hunting y'all, I'm gonna take my phone with me. I'm gonna see if I can connect to the Wi-Fi when I'm across the road in the woods over there. And it'd be something, it would surprise me if you didn't pick up across the road there to a certain extent. Cause it was, when I went down the road y'all, I had full strength on, the, on my computer there. It was getting full signals y'all. And um, that was going through some trees and stuff like that. So that's amazing to me y'all. So if you got a prop, you just trying to get some kind of internet out to, you know, I would consider looking into this wave link and there's the model numbers right there, AX3000. Um, like I say, you can set it up to wherever, how you want to set it up, access point or mesh or whatever, you know, but, um, I just did my access point and, uh, it's working great. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all coming along. I appreciate a uh, wavelength giving the opportunity to review and test our product. Like I say, it, right now I have nothing but good things to say about it. Very good product. If you're interested in it there, go check them out. I would recommend you check them out, read reviews and stuff and know what other people think about it. Just not my opinion. And uh, but I'm sure, you know, you're gonna probably hear a lot of good reviews about this product. Cause I, I can tell you right now, it's working very well. Thank y'all for coming along. And as always friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later, bye-bye.